Hey youth, I'm Jake. Have you ever had a teacher that was super hard to please? Like, it didn't matter what you did, they just didn't like you. You know, there could be kids around you talking and they would always blame you. Nothing you did pleased them. Well, today we're gonna talk about how we can please God. Because the truth is, God is easy to please, but impossible to satisfy. If you understand this about God, your relationship with him is gonna be so much better. Way too many times, people think that God is just this crotchety old man in heaven waiting for them to mess up so that he can judge them or, or punish them. And that's not the truth at all. In fact, the Bible's emphasis is way different. The Bible says that God is our father. If you think about it, he's our creator. He's the one that gave us life. And if you're a Christian, then the Bible says that God has adopted you into his family. Now, for some of you, that might not seem like a great idea, depending on your relationship with your father. But understand this. God is the perfect father, in part because of this. God is proud of any steps we take towards him. God isn't just waiting for you to mess up. He loves you no matter where you are in your relationship with him. Think about it when you're a baby. Your parents are incredibly proud and impressed when you take your first crawl or your first step or speak your first word. And God is the exact same way. He loves every step we take for, towards him in faith, no matter how small. God really is on your side. Every time you trust in him, he's pleased. Every time you pray to him, he's pleased. Every time you repent of your sin, he's pleased. Now, maybe your dad was hard to please and hard to impress, but God's not. God is so easy to please. So why do we say that he's hard to satisfy? It's because God never wants us to stop growing. Hopefully your parents were very proud when you took your first step or said your first words, but I'm pretty sure they didn't want you to just stop there. And God's the same way. He never wants us to stop growing in our faith and love. This will continue until we all come to such unity in our faith and knowledge of God's Son that we will be mature in the Lord, measuring up to the full and complete standard of Christ. There's no limit for growing your relationship with God. He always wants us to be trusting Him more, to be honoring Him with our actions and our lives, and to be helping others to pursue Him. As Christians, we need to remember that no matter how small a step we take towards Him, He's always pleased. But at the same time, he always wants us to be growing and maturing. Remember, God is easy to please, but impossible to satisfy.